How's everyone doing today? Lumpy here. Um, I am trying to wrap my head around what just happened to me. Uh, I was at the Circle K, and I was dressed just like I'm sitting here. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, I was just accused of stolen valor. So, if y'all see me dressed exactly like this on a YouTube video, know that that shit ain't true. You know that I'm the real deal. I am the genuine article. I was in the United States Marine Corps. I did my time, and I got out with an honorable discharge. So this little... Oh, my... All right, let me start at the beginning. Uh, I'm getting my hurricane supplies. Today, Florence is supposed to be here. Um... It's Friday, and Hurricane Florence is on the way. Anyway, I uh, I went out to get my 12-pack of Mountain Dew. <laughs> That's my hurricane supplies. I went out to get my 12-pack of Mountain Dew and fill up my car with gas. So I go down to Circle K, right down the street, maybe two miles away from me. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Circle K is, it's a convenience store like 7-Eleven or Wawa's or... Anyway, it's a convenience store with a gas station out front. So, um, I go inside, I grab my 12-pack of soda, and I stand in line. There was one person in front of me, and I hear from two or three people behind me, someone yells out, those aren't even issued anymore. So I ignored it, I just, I just sat there, and, uh, he says it again. Th those camis aren't even issued anymore, man. So I turn around. I found out who it was. I looked at him. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, because I'm wearing woodland cami pants. Let, let me show you that. All right. This is the way my face looks. I'm, I got this shirt on. Game over. Okay. I do have on woodland cami pants and Bates boots. Okay, they're not military boots. They're they're uh, I was gonna say steel toe, but they're they're composite toe. They're just like steel toe, without the steel. Anyway, they're for my job. You know, I gotta wear steel toes. Anyway, um, I I I just can't comprehend what what this kid was thinking. Anyway. He was maybe five foot two, maybe five foot four, about the, a little bit taller than my girlfriend, and about her size too, tiny little thing. And I'm six foot and about 225 pounds. This kid, I, I, at this point, I'm paying for my stuff, and he starts running his mouth. You know, what's your first general order? What, what? So, of course, I'm like, take charge of this post and all government property and view. And uh, he's like, you, you got military ID? So I roll in my sleeve. I'm like, there's my military ID. Right there. My Marine Corps tattoo. And I walked out of the store. Okay, I go to the gas pump. And, uh, well, first, I got $30 worth of gas. I paid paid the lady for $30 worth of gas and my, my soda. So, um, uh, I get to the gas pump, and the, uh, I don't even know what it's called, the cheap gas, the cheap one, and the mid-grade, there's tape over them, and it says, out of service. So, right away, they're price gouging for the, the hurricane. So, now I'm getting furious, right? I have to buy, that. They, they can't exactly be called price gouging because they're making you buy premium. So I have to fill my car up. Well, I figured $30 would fill up my car, but I ended up getting nine gallons for $30. So it was like three forty something a gallon. Um, I, yeah, anyway, long story short, now, now I'm getting pissed off. And apparently this kid got done paying and he comes running out. Now he's waving his cell phone around. You ever heard of Stolen Valor? You ever heard of Stolen Valor? And 
I'm just thinking, man, this, this kid's gonna lose his fucking teeth today. This, why is this bullshit snowflake little piece of shit running after me? I answered your fucking questions. I showed you my Marine Corps tattoo. Show me some motherfucker that has a Marine Corps tattoo that wasn't in the Marine Corps, and I will stomp their fucking ass. Alright? Oh, I'm sorry, you know... I thought I had a couple minutes to calm down when I got home, but apparently, well, this kid pissed me off. Anyway, we're standing in the parking lot now. I'm filling up my car with gas. Well, you know, putting in my $30 worth. Anyway. And he's out there. You know, I, I had friends die in that uniform. I'm like, I'm not wearing a uniform. I'm wearing cami pants. Okay. Uh, it, man, he just, anyway, um, what was your MOS? I'm like 3521. Well, what's that? Diesel mechanic. Where were you stationed? I said, I, I was in Camp Lejeune. I was in Guam, Hawaii, the Philippines. I've been around the world. Like, well, anybody could get a tattoo. Any, anybody could get a tattoo. That's nothing. That doesn't mean anything. So, I'm, I'm just baffled. That this little, you know what, I give him credit. This little punk ass mouthing off to me like that. Obviously, he's never been disciplined as a child. He's never been hit. Because I'm fixing to just knock his fucking teeth out. Anyway. I'm trying to keep my cool, trying to keep my composure. It's getting a little heated. We're going back and forth. He keeps asking questions. I keep giving him the answers. You know, I was in the military. So finally, I just said, look, man, I don't have to show you this, but I'm gonna. I pull out my VA card and I said, there, is that good enough for you? And he looks at it and he's looking at me like he's a fucking cop or something, you know, going back and forth, making sure the picture matches my face. I'm surprised he didn't say, can you take off your glasses? And I was going to just come home and make a journey into NYX video for y'all. But this is what happened. I turned on the camera and I started running my mouth. Anyway, um, I mean, I, I think stolen valor is a bunch of bullshit. Anybody that does that deserves this shit, but... I mean, since when, if I was up there trying to get something free, if I was trying to get $30 worth of free gas because I'm a military member, if I'm saying, I'm a Marine, come on, give me free shit, yeah, question me. If, if I'm even running my mouth to anybody saying I was in the Marine, there was nothing mentioned about the military. There was nothing said. I was buying Mountain Dew and gasoline. And this kid has the audacity to come up and run his fucking mouth to me. Why do I have to prove myself? And as I'm thinking about it, I said, because there's 9,000 videos on YouTube accusing everybody and their brother of being stolen valor. Just like that freaking uh, warrant officer that was with Hillary Clinton. Clinton, I, I can't even talk. Anyway, that warrant officer that was with Hillary Clinton and everybody bashed him. And then, I don't know his name, but that main SEAL guy that's against Stolen Valor came out and said, y'all need to know what the fuck you're talking about. And that's exactly it. I'm, just wearing a pair of fucking camis doesn't mean I'm Stolen Valor. And even if, you know what, I earned this fucking uniform. A guy standing there, this is North Carolina. People hunt all the fucking time. People wear camis all the fucking time. If you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, keep your damn mouth shut. You want to hear the best thing? The best thing about this whole fucking story? That I... Anyway. The best thing about this whole story. As we're standing there at the gas pump. And this kid eyeballs my ID back and forth. I said, let me see your ID. He said, I don't have any. I was never in the military. That's what fucked my head up. I'm like, you're over here quizzing me, asking me all kinds of questions, 
like you know the fucking answer? And you were never in the military? It's because these videos, he thinks he has some kind of knowledge from watching videos on YouTube or wherever he watched them that he has enough knowledge to call out people claiming that they're stolen valor. Anyway, I dare this motherfucker to put my face on something saying that I'm stolen valor. I will find him. I'm going to cut that out because that's a direct threat. But I'll hurt the motherfucker. Just, you know what? Gather some facts. Have a reason to accuse somebody before you do. Just wearing a pair of fucking cami pants has nothing to do with it. If it was anybody else, you know what? A dude that looks like me could have lost his cool and pounded this kid. Seriously, he could have got hurt. I mean, he almost got hurt with me. But be careful, man. Be careful who you accuse of this shit. If you don't know what you're talking about, if you've never been in the military, keep your fucking mouth shut. Just something to think about, man. Y'all have a great day. Lumpy out.